All right, just tell me when. Oh, right now. Oh, um, hello, everybody. I'm Dale Gribble, a.k.a. Rusty Shackleford, and welcome to, what was it again? Solo Gaming Sunday Slay the Spire Edition, where today we'll be playing some Slay the Spire. Um, a couple, I did a stream or two of this in the past and uh, really enjoy this game. One thing I did not realize, nobody told me, there is a mobile version for this game. So I've always played it on Steam, on my computer and whatnot. There's a mobile version. I think that's been out for a while, as far as I can tell, um, for a couple of years, I guess. And I was just figured out about this like a week and a half ago. So I went out and bought it on mobile and I've been playing it a ton the past few weeks. So that's what we're doing here today is playing a bit of Slay the Spire and specifically when you play Slay the Spire, there's a bunch of different characters. Well, two of them I still have locked because I haven't even bothered with that because I've just been focusing on the first character, the Ironclad, who um, has some pretty interesting cards and interesting abilities. They're kind of one of the most basic, I guess, most easiest to play. So I've been really trying to get better at this game by playing just through them. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll be doing here today is just playing through some Slay the Spire uh, with the ironclad. So yeah, I, I guess we can just kind of hop right into it. Um, I could do a rules rules explanation as I kind of go, but let me kind of get started here. So uh, I'm gonna be just starting on no ascension, just playing a base game first, and then hopefully if that's a win, I'll kind of keep bumping up the ascension levels as I go along. Um, so I'm only gonna have the two options for the rewards because I was doing a test game before the stream for just making sure everything looked good and worked good. So in Slay the Spire, this is a roguelike deck building game. Each character has their own unique deck of cards, own card pools. They have their own relics, and but there's also a lot of common cards and relics and whatnot that uh, are shared between all the characters. Uh, so the one I'm playing today is the Ironclad. They have a starting relic. Relics are just items you can get throughout the game that just give you different abilities. This one is called Burning Blood. At the end of combat, heal 6 HP. This is important for the Ironclad because a lot of what they do, they have a lot of decent amount of cards in their deck that requires HP to use. Like you lose one HP to do certain ability. But also just Ironclad has a more offensive kind of play style. So having that health heal up at the end of each combat is a nice thing to have. So you can just kind of go for more offensive, get hit a few times, and then you heal it up at the end of combat. Uh, so this is my starting deck of 10 cards. There are um, five strike cards, which just deal one damage or deal six damage. You have four defense, which block for five, and then my bash ability. Um, each round I have three energy to spend. So you can see there's an energy cost at the top left. Um, block is just Kind of what it sounds like it blocks damage. And then I also have this bash card that does damage and applies vulnerable, which vulnerable, you can see a little box on the right hand side describing what it does. Vulnerable creatures take 50% more damage from attacks. Pretty handy. All cards can also be upgraded at least once. Most most are just only one upgrade. You can see I can click this to view the upgrade. So if I were to upgrade bash, it would be 10 damage and three vulnerability. Uh, so that's what I have to work with. So one of the big decisions in Slay the Spire is you have this map and you can kind of choose where you start and where you go. And there's different, there's a little legend on the right hand side to show you your different options um, for what is to come. And then at the end of each floor or uh, each level, I guess is what's technically called, um, or act, I guess is the, best, the most proper term. Act, at the end of each act, there's three acts. There's a final boss. So you can see here, this one is this little gem looking thing with flames around it, it's hex a ghost. Uh, he's no good, but we'll deal with him. So uh, what I like to do personally, and maybe this isn't the best strategy, is at least in act one, you have gold, which you can spend at merchant shops, but I don't want to hit one too early on, so I might try to hit that late one. Then there's also rest sites, which are very handy. Um, at them, you can rest up to heal HP, or you can also upgrade cards, which is pretty handy to have. Um, and then there's also elite enemies, you have treasure, unknown spots that can be kind of anything uh, that could be like random event type stuff, or you just have normal enemy encounters. And 
Uh, so let me take a quick gander at this board and see what spot I kind of want to head down. I'm kind of liking that left path, but then I don't love that path because it's kind of just, uh, I only have one choice. I can't like pivot if stuff goes bad. And there's also not a lot of rest sites. So I might ignore that path, even though the merchant would be nice. Um, I guess I could hit up the merchant there. That's kind of midway. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So then I need to hit that campsite. Probably there. I probably want to hit a decent amount of enemies right off the bat. So maybe I'll kind of go like that path, starting with this one down here. So we'll try that and see how that goes. Um, and also at the beginning of each game, you have these options of starting. I forget. There's a certain term for this, but they're just like different things that you can get to help you for the game. Normally, you have four options. I think you have to get to the end of Act One's boss to see all four options. But since I did a test game before before the stream, uh, so now we have the two options, which I'm going to take max plus eight HP because, um, like I kind of mentioned earlier, Ironclad he needs the health to kind of lose it because he plays a little bit more offensively. So here we go, first battle. Let's hope this goes good. Um, not the best starting hand. I guess it wasn't too bad. I didn't waste any energy, which is good. They're not attacking me. They're hitting me for six. I'll block five, attack twice. Pretty straightforward. Uh, they're attacking for nine. I could block all of it. I guess I will, and then just strike once. I want to really try to, especially with these first enemies, take as little damage as possible. But if I take it, if I take six or less each round, then it'll just be healed up at the end. So it's all good anyway. Um, okay, they're dead next round. So I'll take two here. But once again, like that little bit of damage doesn't matter because that will heal up. So strike and strike this guy is dead got some gold and now i get to add my first card to my deck interesting options here um so i think pretty much at the end of every uh, encounter you have you'll get cards to choose from to to add to your deck um so these are my three options shrug it off havoc or armaments normally based on your starting like the cards you get kind of towards the beginning kind of dictate what kind of build you're gonna have your deck go into and right now this isn't saying too much for me so i think i might go with shrug it off i like that one it gives you block which um, ironclad doesn't have a lot of and then also it's you draw a card which is pretty sweet so we'll go with that and go to the next spot which is a random encounter which i guess is an enemy so i'm gonna defend and they're gonna hit me for six could apply the vulnerable no because they're gonna not do anything next turn so it would have been best to probably play not best i don't know I, I want to take the least amount of damage right now as possible so i got another strike well oh well um okay that's gonna hit me kind of a lot but i can block pretty much all of it except for one break through the block okay i need to finish this fight quick i'm gonna take some damage here that's fine i'll take five and then hopefully finish them off next turn because I applied some vulnerability. They do have a shield, so that's unfortunate. But at least they're not going to hit me. I should have bashed before I strike there, but whatever. Uh, this encounter is pretty much over anyway, so it's all good. Healing back up. Got some gold and a card to my deck. Um, got Body Slam, Reckless Charge, and Rage. Body Slam is interesting. It's not a great card for Act 1, but... I already got a block card, so maybe I could start going towards like a block suite kind of deck, which those are fun. I'm, I, I, they're definitely possible with Ironclad. I just have to hope I get better cards and stuff for it. I mean, Rage and Reckless, Reckless Charge is kind of fun. I like Reckless Charge. I could get that and go for a more status kind of deck, but I think we'll take the Body Slam. I mean, the other thing is also you can skip. If you don't want any of the cards, you can skip. And I, honestly, a lot of the times that might that's probably a good idea especially earlier in the game you don't want to fill your deck with too much stuff or else then you're not gonna be able to draw the cards you actually need so we'll go ahead and this is interesting um we'll take the body slam i'm gonna try leaning a bit more into a block kind of deck we'll see how that works out though see like it's already coming to bite me because like i got body slam but then no block cards so that just is kind of a dead card right now which isn't great but i mean these guys are pretty easy to deal with so it shouldn't be too bad uh, and i can just double strike here and that's pretty easy combat encounter okay uh all my next cards uppercut clothesline thunderclap 
decent cards. I mean, Uppercut's good for doing some damage, applying weak and vulnerable. Thunderclap is some nice AoE that also applies vulnerable. Um, I kind of like Uppercut. I want to have a bit of damage. And these are almost the same. I mean, they have the almost the same energy count, do almost the same damage, but one applies too weak, while the other applies a weak and a vulnerable, which weak, uh, the creatures just deal 25% less damage. So I'm going to take that, even though I'm going for more of a block deck, like I'm still going to need some combat cards to do some damage. So we'll go ahead and go with that. Um, we have our first event here of the uh, banana, donut, or a box. Um, I'm just going to go for the donut, which gives me plus five max HP, because... Like I've mentioned a couple times now, HP is really important. I mean, in general, if your character reaches zero HP, you die, but especially for the Ironclad. Um, lose three HP, 25% chance to find a relic. Let's go for that. Okay, dig deeper. Okay, cool, I got a relic in that event, which I have got the ink bottle, which says whenever you play 10 cards, draw a card. Interesting. So maybe I could also try, well, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of not weird to build into, but there's some decks that just like drawing a lot of cards, but I don't know if this deck's going to be one of them. Uh, as far as what to upgrade, uh, interesting options. And Bash is always a solid like kind of first upgrade from my understanding. I mean, I should talk like I'm no expert in this game. Like I've been playing it a decent amount recently, but I'm I'm no expert. So still learning a lot. Um, I've only reached Ascension 2, which like there's like I think 20, which are the just different difficulty levels. Um, okay, there is a block card, Ghostly Armor. That could be pretty nice. War Cry, draw a card, uh, put a card from your hand on top. I also don't hate that card. Have a bit of like draw manipulation, could be pretty nice. Um, I think I'm just going to bandage up. Bandage up's pretty good for What's it called for Ironclad? So I'm going to take that. That sounds good. We'll just take those two cards and fight our first elite, which are the sentries. I am concerned about this, but we'll see how this goes. Um, and I drew Bash and Uppercut in the same hand, which is really unfortunate. really is. Uh, it's going to make this fight more difficult because yeah, I can Bash them, and then they're going to just... I also did that incorrectly. I should have uppercut the center one and then hit the other one. Because now I'm not in a great position. Uh, well, okay. I mean, I can start doing stuff like this. That's kind of fun. Have 50. Oh, I goofed. I meant to play the body slam. I forgot. Because when you upgrade body slam, it, it becomes zero energy. I forgot I don't have that yet. So I, it still costs an energy. Um, I need to take out one of these sentries fast or else I'm going to get really bogged down this fight. Like next turn, I don't know if I have enough damage output to take them out. Because, yeah, they're making me weak, aren't they? I guess I could do that. I'm just going to take a lot of damage this round. Not a lot, nine, which it's a decent amount, but I just got to take some damage. I'm going to keep adding all these dazed into my... Oh, look at this. This is bad. Yeah, I kind of misplayed this. I really should have been a little bit more focused on taking one out instead of just, like, doing whatever I was doing. Um, should be able to take out maybe that center one next turn, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I can uppercut slash them. That's doable. We're just down to one at this point. I can bash, shrug it off. I had another energy so I could have body slammed after but that's okay we'll survive actually I think this is gonna go okay just have to start getting through all these status cards that were added to my deck it's driving me crazy I can't really do anything um yeah one more turn hopefully took more damage than I would have liked that fight but I also probably misplayed that to an extent uh so I did get a new relic which is the Darkstone Parapet. So whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. That's kind of cool. And three new cards. So anger, dual wield, or carnage. Carnage is the only one I'm considering. And right now I'm going for, I think I want to go for more of like a block kind of deck. But like you need damage still. Um, so that's why I'm like kind of hesitant. I, I kind of want to take carnage, but I think I'm going to skip. 
Let's skip. I'm just not going to think about it too much more. And we'll just keep on keeping on. Treasure chest. I get an eternal feather. So for every five cards in your deck, heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. Okay, well, that kind of makes me want to have a thicker deck. But, I mean, in general, you don't want to have too many cards in your deck. Um, what do you think about this? So I'm going to hit a rest site either way. It's either rest. If I go right, it's like rest. Then there's two enemies. And then that. I would like to fight this elite. So I was trying to figure out, like, which path I want to take to get there. Um, this is what? One two enemies and that or two it's the same either way i guess guess i'll go right now that's that's fine uh so i'll go ahead and smith and i'm doing okay on health i really want to upgrade that body slam so that's free will make it a lot easier to play and and i won't make that mistake again i think it gets free well now it is oh gosh this fight is a pain oh i don't like this fight <laughs> this one's annoying I mean, okay, I got some decent cards for it, but... Uh, okay, what do we got? 18 block. I don't even know which one to f attack. I mean, whatever one I can take out in one, I guess, is what I should do. They're gonna hit me again, aren't they? Oh my goodness, this sucks. Okay, I guess I'm only gonna be getting hit three, and then I should be able to take him out. Hopefully. No, not yet. One damage shy, that sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a little bit more damage than I thought. Um, that's fine. That's fine. We'll play that, strike them. Yeah, shrug it off. Yeah, I guess shrug it off. Yeah, that was a good move because then I could have maybe drawn my body block, which I think, or body slam, which was in my discard, but whatever. Um, this is good. This is good. 18, heal that. So they'll hopefully be dead next turn. As long as I don't draw completely nothing. There we go. So. Not the most straightforward uh, encounter, but we got it done. Uh, so these are my card options. Twin Strike, Intimidate, or Rage. So Twin Strike is good, especially if you're doing like a strength build, which I'm not. Intimidate, I don't know. I don't really care for that too much. And Rage, I don't think any of these are good. Nope, we're skipping. Don't want them. Okay, well I can bandage up ghostly armor to block all that damage. I don't know who I should fight first. Probably the slime. I'm slowly like, as I've been playing more, like understanding like more of the enemies and the boss fights, but I'm still, like I said, I'm no expert. So I'm, I'm there's still a ton I do not know. Uh, okay, this is good. Right. Well, hold on. I think I'm just gonna be one damage short, aren't I? Cause that's that sucks. Two damage short, I guess. Miscalculated, but still taking only one damage. This guy in the back is gonna still keep hitting me. Stop. It's getting annoying. All right. Let's see. Okay. Now I can. Body slam, which is good, and strike. They're gonna defend themselves, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not. They're gonna smoke bomb. Yeah, they're getting that. There's nothing I can do to stop them. That's, what's my potion? Two strength. If I would've used that earlier, maybe I could've stopped them, but nothing I can do now. They took my gold and they're gonna get away. That's on me. I guess I probably should've been focusing them more. Oops, uh, but I do get a card, so pummel. Rapture or Flex are my options here. Um, Yeah, none of these I really think they're not bad cards, but I think at this point I've kind of more or less committed to a block deck. So I kind of just want to keep leaning into that, which none of these really help with that. Um, We're going to skip. We're going to skip and hopefully that's fine. Uh, let me do something real fast here. Give me one second. What is going on with my... Oh. Okay. Alright, we're all good. 
Um, I still don't know. Stream, uh, stream elements hasn't been working right. I don't know what's going on there. Whatever. That's that's not super important right now. Um, okay, and the mystery place with a shop, which I have no money to get anything besides the one card on sale, which I don't even want. So it's kind of a useless shop and just a useless uh, waste of my time. Okay, this one's interesting. This guy starts out asleep. Uh, doesn't wake up for, I think, the first three turns, so I can kind of just do whatever, try to get a good starting hand. What do I, what am I even looking for? Maybe, like, an uppercut? I think this is the last turn. Okay, yeah, so I'll uppercut them, and they'll be, like, confused. I can strike. That's good. It's not bad. And they're gonna hit hard, so hopefully I get some good blocks, and I don't. I get some, but not... Nothing crazy. There's a lot of cards I need to help make this deck work good. And I'm just, I haven't gotten really any of them so far, which is not great. Um, like I need barricades at some point. There's some good relics that could really help me out. Like, I don't even know. Calipers I think is good. Um, there's a few other relics that either I give you block or uh, help your block, which is, is what I need, but um, not really getting that at the moment. So I can do that, that, I'm still taking a lot of damage. Ouch, 11. Okay, well I can uppercut and block, but that's only gonna do so much. I'm still taking nine, but they should be dead next turn. Maybe this turn? No, next turn. Siphon soul, yeah, I don't care. You're dead, man. Easy, not easy, but we got through. Ooh, Stone Calendar is an interesting relic. At the end of turn seven, you deal 52 damage to all enemies. A uh, really good one, especially for some of the bosses. So these are the cards. Exhume, interesting. You put a card from your exhaust pile into your hand, and then you exhaust that card. Whatever card is exhausted, Dark Embrace, draw one card. See, it seems like now I'm getting a lot of cards for like the exhaust suite, which is kind of a harder deck to pull off. I haven't really gotten one to work. A uh, blood wedding, though, is, is is what I want. Let's me play some extra cards if needed. Uh, how am I doing on this? So I have 47 health. If I remember correctly, I could be misremembering. Um, this boss is one that's actually good to not have like a whole lot of health. Like I'm pretty sure they're the attack damage they do is based off of whatever your current health is. So the lower health you go in, the less damage they do believe that's how it works. So I think the general rule is for this uh, hexagos guy, the lower the health, the better. But we'll see if that's how that how that turns out. Um, as far as what I want to improve, this that's pretty good. The extra weak and extra vulnerability carries over a turn. Extra block, that's not that good. What does even this do? Oh, it's an extra energy it gains you. That could be really good. Honestly, I'm gonna get that. The extra energy. So basically three energy, three HP for three energy. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start doing some. Uh, I guess that was a mistake. I shouldn't have tried, I should have striked instead of blocked because it would have got me technically one more damage. Not that it's like really that much of a difference, but every damage counts. So I should really be a little bit more careful. That was kind of a nasty first attack. I'm not a huge fan, if I'm being honest. Um, I did get Bloodletting, but I can't do much with it. Oh, but I will draw a card, so maybe... Oh, okay, I'll, I'll use it, sure. Because then I can Defend, Strike, and Body Slam. Cool. All right. Um, what can I do here? I could block all the damage and just Strike. That's kind of boring, but I'll do it. Slowly whittle him away. My health, I mean, it's important, but at the same time, like, I just have to make it through this fight, so that's my main priority right now. I guess I do have a couple of potions, dexterity and strength. Oh, I do have a dexterity potion. That could be kind of fun. Uh, ew, I don't have anything great. Oh, okay. Hold on. I can do some more strikes. I have bloodletting, but it's not really good use for it. Okay, I had to draw some uh, some block there, and I have the body slam. Cool. All right. What? Oh, my! The whatever the calendar just happened. 
It's like, why'd they just take a ton of damage? I forgot about that. Jeez. It's gonna make this fight easy. The burns are not helping. It's, it's starting to get a little worse here, but I'm chugging along. Um, is blood letting worth it? Yes, absolutely it is. I should have did it after I threw the bash, but this guy should be dead, like, next turn. I'm gonna be close. <laughs> Four health. That's disconcerting. Um. Oh, wait, if I... That, this is so cool. I'm... Because at the end of my turn, both of these burns are gonna go off. I'm taking eight damage this turn. But... I win, so it's just no, it's no worries. That was so close. That really shouldn't have been that close. 105 gold, swift potion to draw three cards, and I get a card to add to my deck. Dang. Uh, a lot of these are really good cards. Um, D Demon form and limit break are definitely more for strength build, which I'm not really dealing with strength at all. So I'm gonna go with fiend fire, just because it is a, it's a good card. It does good damage. Uh, relic options. Busted crown. I don't like because I, there's cards I still need. Sneko, I, I just, I don't think I've ever taken it. I don't like the idea of it. Um, you just become, you draw two cards at the start of your turn, but you start each combat confused. So whenever you draw a card, it you randomize its cost, which seems kind of crazy to me. Uh, but I do like black blood. So you replace burning blood, which is my current relic. So then at the end of combat, I basically do double the healing instead of six. I do 12 now, so we're into act two. Moving right along. Um, I'm not too familiar with the act two enemies, so I'm just gonna hope for the best here. I'm looking at the merchant shops. There's one down there on the right. I hit some elites along the way. I can at least hit one. I like to hit more than one elite, but if that's all I can get, and that's all I can get, I guess. Um, okay. I'm kind of thinking like this path where I kind of like go along here, here, and then kind of back this way. So I'm gonna start here. Sure. Uh, oh gosh, this guy's kind of annoying. Let me shrug it off first to see what I get. Okay. Well. Wait, one? No. This no idea. Seven. Yeah. No. This wouldn't be good to use now, would it? Okay. I was thinking about doing like the blood wedding and then fiend fire, but it doesn't seem like the move, so I will just pass on that. Yeah, this armor, they just have crazy armor that they just keep adding on to. It's real annoying. What are you gonna do? Um, okay, well bandage up that's kinda useless. I guess also, I just need to make it to turn seven and then my calendar will take care of it, right? That's kind of kind of uh, a weird way to win this, but I think that's pretty much what I have to bank on, is just kind of defend until that happens. I guess do some damage, because it keeps healing it back up. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll bloodlet here, just, just to see what happens, because then I can shrug it off to get another. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, because I have a lot of block and then I body slam. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. I guess so just next turn I just win, right? I guess I should uppercut and defend. Which is at the end of my turn, so they have to go. How does this work? They die now? That was turn seven. Am I mistaken as a turn eight? Oh, at the end of turn seven. That's dumb. Oh bash, body slam. There we go. Okay. Calendar comes in clutch. Uh, power potion. I maxed out all my potions. Don't really like the power potion that much, so I will just ignore it and see what card options I have. Okay, evolve, wild strike, or power through. Uh, power through. That looks like a good card. Add two wounds uh, into your hand. Gain 15 blocks. Another block card. I'll gladly take that. On to the next encounter. Oh boy. These guys. Kind of annoying. I guess I don't need to do the full block. Just try to hit, I don't know, one of them. I wish I had some sort of thorns because that would really help right now. Um, okay, what am I getting hitting for 15? I mean, I guess I could just power through. 
in the wounds. I don't really care. I mean, I kind of care, but not really. Just keep attacking the center one. I don't know. I feel like I just need to take out one real fast and then deal with the other two. I know I can also like knock them down, but I don't know how much damage I have to do to do that. Maybe I'm thinking of another enemy. Oops. I'm going to be taking a decent amount of damage here. Is that 22 total minus five? Someone taking 17? Yikes. Not great. Not great. Um, and they have like some ritual on them that's like making me do less damage, which stinks. I just need to take out one. They're just killing me. I might need to use like a potion or something. I'm I'm doing pretty pretty bad here. Um, or I can wait for my Mayan calendar, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely an option. How much damage would this do? Seven per card. And one, two, three, four. That would do 28 damage. But then that doesn't do full seven. That would only do three. Because of their stupid ritual. Um, which is kind of not great. I mean, I'm going to have to defend. Strike. And then that's it. That's all I can do. They still won. This ritual is so annoying. I might lose to these stupid birds. I still have to survive like two more turns for my um, calendar. Yeah, well, this one's dead. At least one's dead. But still have two more to go. This is rough. Okay, so it's at the end of this turn is when my thing will come through. So I'm going to try to do some amount of damage before then. So I'll body slam the one because I want to make sure they both die. So do they both die? Thank goodness. Okay. We're, we did it. Just had to wait for my calendar again. Um, Bloodletting. Okay. That one's kind of interesting. It's the upgraded version of that card. So that's kind of cool. Lose 2 HP. Deal 20 damage. For one energy, I, I might take that. Sentinel, I'm not a huge fan of that card. It is a block card. I'd rather have a little bit more damage. Even though I'm going more for block. Um, so I could pray and get a 100 gold or desecrate, get a curse, then 275 gold. I'm just going for 100 gold. I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm not desecrating no statue. Uh, okay. So close. I might... I don't know. I guess I don't need to do that right now. I was going to use my dexterity potion, but there's literally no point. I should just at least wait, because I'm not taking any... Oh, I was taking damage there. Can't do math. So to uppercut them. I'm chilling. Not gonna take any damage. All blocked. Cool. Right now I'm pretty low on health. I'm not loving this. Um Am I dead? I think I'm dead. I'll draw swift. I have to use my swift potion. There we go. Okay. I'm alive for another round. <laughs> for now. Um That was kind of a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Five health. Yeah, this run I think is over. Because I can stay alive, but I'm at a bad spot. And my deck, it's not the best. My relics aren't bad. I don't love a lot of them, but they definitely could be worse. Um, it's going to make me lose two HP. That's kind of nerve wracking. Power through, whatever. I just need to block all their damage. That's all I care about. I guess I'll just let my calendar do it again and to deal with this. Because um, I win at the end of this like next turn. Just do that and block it all. Calendar for the win. Okay, that was really close. I was, I was sweating that time. Um, ooh. That's kind of interesting. Sever soul. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deals 16 damage. 
So I'm going to have a lot of non-attack cards going forward. A lot of them will be like skill cards. Now we have a few attacks. I'm going to try getting rid of strikes more and more. So... Shockwave's pretty good too, though. That's the issue. Shockwave's a good card. Um, plays three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. Then it is exhausted. Yeah, I don't know. Pumble Strike is a good card. I don't dislike it. I also just want to... I don't want to fill my deck up with too much junk right now. Which is the issue. So I might... This is only 16... I mean, it's only 16 damage. It's 16 damage, but it's 2 energy for that. So that's not... Yeah, I'm not... I don't know. I'm gonna skip. Um, I right, take Shockwave. That's the other thing I can do. That also exhausts. Yeah, I'll take Shockwave. You know what? I'll do it. Probably gonna lose this round anyway, because I'm super low in health. But we'll see what I can do. Yeah, this first attack's almost gonna kill me. Oh, it's 2 HP. I don't care. It's gonna deal 21. I'm taking 3. I'll be down to 9. Oh, boy. Okay, well, at least they're not attacking again, so I could just strike them a few times, see if that uh, can slowly wear them down that way. 21 damage. It's not good. <laughs> I'll survive for now, but not really comfortably. Yeah, like 8 damage? 6? Six? 6. I'll lose 2 HP to take him out. That's fine. Oh, they're not dead yet. That should take him out, right? Surely. <laughs> there we go. All right. Some gold and a new card. Interesting. Wild Strike. It's a decent card. Not really what I'm looking for. A Fire Breathing upgraded is a good card, but not really what I'm looking for either. Uh, Thunderclap I might take because I don't have, I don't think any AoE. And the supply is vulnerable. And it's upgraded. So we'll take it. Now, I was, I think, initially going to go for this uh, this elite, but I don't feel like I am in a position to. I've been playing pretty poorly, not doing the best, so I'm going to rest up. I'm going to take a big old nap here at this rest site and uh, continue onwards to these bunch of birds. Yeah, this is not going to be good. I'm going to do the ritual. I mean, luckily, that, that shockwave, that was good. I... That worked out really good that last round. Um, okay, so they're going to do some stuff. So I'll uppercut. Draw a card. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll bloodlet to power through and defend. That's not... I guess that wasn't super necessary for me to do that whole rigmarole. But at least I'm not taking any damage. So you know what? Not too bad, I don't think. I can bandage up to heal up a little bit. Ghostly armor. Um, oh, that's gonna kill him. Cool. So what am I taking? Just two damage. I can I can take two damage. That's that's nothing. Uh, okay. Yikes. Why can I take them out? I think. Oh yeah, for sure I can. So I strike them and then body slam them. Okay, good. My math was kind of correct there. So I will take seven damage. Yeah, it's no big deal. And I just fiend fire, right? That's 28 damage, but that's not enough. Wait, <laughs> that's not enough. Um, that was close because that would have I would have taken a lot of damage in return. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I guess I could just wait for my calendar. I have two more turns till that kicks in. So. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. Just weaken them. Just defend away. That's the at the end of next turn is when it happens, so. I uh, just end turn. I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> okay, it's <laughs> simple enough. All right, my next option of cards got Sever Soul, Rampage, and Upgraded Cleave. Um, Rampage is kind of fun, though uh, I need more AoE, I feel like, so I'll take an Upgrade Cleave. And I want to go back this way because I do want to hit up that shop. Ooh, so they want me to give up a relic to obtain a special relic. I don't know what the special relic is. Um, I don't want to lose the stone calendar because I've been using that a ton. So I'll, lose, I'll offer up the ink bottle and see what I get. 
What is this? What does this do? Triple the chance of finding rare cards from combat rewards. Oh. Maybe that was worth it. I don't really know. Uh, Regal Pill is pretty nice. Again, what? 15 additional HP whenever I rest, which is good. I'll go ahead and smith here. I don't need to rest right now. Uh, lots of upgrade options. Lots of upgrade options. I think Uppercut was what I was thinking next, just because that extra vulnerability and weak is pretty good. So this is probably better. Upgrade Shockwave, because that's five vulnerability and weak to all enemies. Yeah, I think that's that's a lot better, actually. So we'll go with that. And we're shopping again. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, not loving these options. Maybe there's some good relics. What do we got? So the Strange Spoons, cards with exhaust. Okay, no. Start of each combat, probably one vulnerable to all enemies. Eh. When adding cards to your deck, you may raise your HP by max two instead. That's kind of a fun one. Um, we look at the cards up top. Second wind isn't bad. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Gain five block for each card. I think let me buy the singing bowl first. Let me buy this. I guess that's it. Cool. Uh, the headbutt's not bad. I'm kind of considering it, but I, I'm, I'm out of weight. Okay. Um, I don't know which of these guys is better to take out first. Probably the guy in the front. I guess? I don't, I don't really know. There might be a better one to take out first, but we'll just take out that dude and hope for the best. So I can bandage up a little bit. I can shockwave. It makes these guys real weak. I could power through, but I'm just gonna take four damage, so like, I'm not too worried about it. Um, Okay, I got cleave here. Shrug it off. This is good. This is good. I can cleave. That'll do some damage. That'll actually take that guy out. That's 30 damage for that card. I'm glad I grabbed that card. That's a, a good card to have. Um, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This would exhaust all my cards. Gain five cards. Yeah, that's not what I really want, if I'm being honest. I have to get rid of like body block or body slam, which um yeah, I don't really want to do. How much would this do? 10 damage per card, 30 damage total. I'd be taking, still do that, but then, the, okay, well, guess not. Guess I'm just not doing that. Um, okay. Steal 20. So wait, one, two, three, four. It's five per on non-attack. I guess I can block it all. That's going to exhaust everything, right? Oh. It's, I don't know why. I, I even read it out loud. It's all non-attack, but I thought it was going to do all attack. Oh, this is bad. This is not good. I forgot about my calendar. I should always just rely on my calendar. Okay. See, now we're starting to see some of the... I think these are the rare cards. Um, corruption's a pretty decent one. Seal cards cost zero. Let me go by type real fast, because what are my skill cards? That'd be like pretty much all my armor. Power through, shockwave, second wind, shrug it off. Would all be zero. But then you have to um, exhaust them after you play it, which I don't know if that's good. Battle trance I do like, and I might... I might take that because that's a pretty fun card and just gives me more card draw. You can't draw more, which is, um, it's not really that big of a deal. And I guess I'll Smith because I don't really think I need to heal. I'll have another healing spot before the boss. So no, this is fine. Upgrade something. Hello there, KDK. Happy Sunday to you too. Just playing a bit of Slay the Spire. So it's still in the first game right now, but it's going all right. There's been some close calls, but uh, we're, we're, we're plugging away. Hope your Sunday's going good. Um, 
I don't know what we... What was my second wind upgrade? Gained seven blocks per card? That's not bad. Draw four cards. Gained 20 block. Ghostly Armor I use a lot, but that's only plus three. What is this? 211, that's plus three. Uppercut. It's extra weak and vulnerability. This was plus five block. I mean, that's pretty... Good, and that's plus two per card. Only a hand of five cards, so it's like plus like eight. But I don't know. We'll go with the power through. I think that's the move. Um, all right, and we'll. we'll uh, see how this battle goes. Okay, battle trance. Yikes. Uh, I guess, oh, actually, Shockwave would be pretty good here. Oh, but that one had Artifact on it, so it... Artifact, like, negates a debuff, so it just negated, like, everything I did, which is kind of fun. Um... Okay, well, this is no good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Second Wind is as good as I thought it was. So far, I haven't really used it much, like, at all, but... I mean, I know I just recently got it, but... I'm hoping it does more. So I'm not, I'm not feeling too confident with it. Um. Okay. We'll do that. And then I'll uppercut. I guess power through. I'll take the wounds because I don't want to take the damage. Oh boy. Doing a lot of damage. Oh, I have body slam. Though. That's that's good. 24 damage. It's not bad. I will block all of theirs, so that's that's good. This block deck is coming along. I just really need barricades. That's what I'm looking for. That's the card that'll really make this deck start to really work good. And a good couple of relics could help as well, but um, that's not what I'm concerned about too much. Is that... Okay, cool. They're dead. So some gold power potion. I don't want. Oh, look at that. Look at those cards. Upgraded Body Slam, Upgraded Second Wind, and Sword Boomerang. Sword Boomerang's not bad. It's kind of an AoE. Um, if you're doing strength builds, that card's pretty good. I do like Body Slam. It's good in my deck, and this is Upgraded Body Slam, so absolutely I will take that. Uh, I could rest up. That would bring me to max HP. Um, I'm full on potions. I forget what this boss is if i'm being honest uh how what are my potions i have a dexterity potion and that's just five oh that's only for the first turn it's not like permanent dexterity the strength's permanent and maybe i'll use that this next fight because i already have 66 hp how much more am i getting now i'll smith i'll smith even though there's not really much i want to upgrade um i guess Fiend fire. I'm kind of that's three damage per card. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm a upgrade fiend fire. Okay. Oh, this guy's annoying. Yeah, he summons his little minions. Oh man, I hate those minions. All right, so I'm taking what twenty two damage total. Um. Honestly, yeah, second wind may have not been the best card to take. And I think I will go ahead and drink my strength potion. Just to make sure my attacks are just dealing a little bit more damage. Yeah, they, uh, I don't know. I mean, I should probably be going for the main guy most of the time and ignoring the minions. But the minions are just going to keep doing annoying debuffs and damage and stuff. Like, I don't want to ignore them. So that would probably end poorly. Oh, give me bloodletting. Oh, I got it. Okay. So let me see what I can do here. Because I can power through, body slam, cleave, and uppercut. Let me uppercut first. Then I cleave. Then I power through. Then I body slam and take out the one in the front. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I block 
Well, if there was damage, I'd be blocking it, but I guess there isn't any. Um, okay, thunder, clap, whatever. I can defend some of this damage I'm about to take. Take that guy out and body slam. He blocked all of it, but that's okay. 15 damage. Ow. Luckily, uh, minions are gone for now. I'll have a turn of just wailing away at this guy. What turn is it? That was so it's turn five. So I have to remember I have my calendar. That's uh, very helpful. Yikes! This is gonna be a lot of damage. I might use my <laughs> my dexterity potion. This is. I don't think I'll need it, but I think it's best for me to use now. So I'm gonna only have 10 health after this, so. It's cutting it close, to be sure. Um, ooh, I can battle trance and then bloodletting. That's kind of fun. Let me think about the best way to do this. Do they already have vulnerable in them or they have weak? They have vulnerable. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. I guess I don't even need to really bloodlet, so I'm just gonna fiend fire. It's gonna do a lot of damage. 85. And that did 50, so they're down to 30. I'm yeah, we're we're almost there. Um I guess I can uppercut. Oh, I'm so close. I have to second wind or else I'm gonna No, I am gonna die. No what I have my potion, what do I do? What can this do? This is choose a card to put in your hand. I've already used up all my energy. This is bad. Wait, what's my situation? I just need to deal 18 damage. Oh, can I use this card? It costs zero. Wow. I'd use up all my potions, but... Oh, squeaked through. And there is Barricade. Okay. I'm grabbing that for sure. And this deck's going to really start singing now. Help with the effectiveness of potions, coffee dripper, or the black star. I do like the black star. It's probably a little bit late in the run, but a wheat's dropping an additional relic when defeat is pretty good. Help with the effectiveness of potions. Yeah, that is good. I don't like the coffee dripper, but I guess it is also the last floor. So if I play really safely, that could be kind of fun. This extra energy is so helpful. Let's try it. I've, I don't think I've ever done the coffee tripper. So it's the last act. I'm going to play it more carefully. Probably avoid more weeds. Just try to hit up as many like rests and whatnot. So merchant. There's one way down there. Okay. I like this one here that's like in the center. So I'll try to aim for that. So let me look at the pathways kind of coming down. Um, I guess I really probably want as many question mark events as possible. So I'm going to start here. We'll see how this goes. Yikes. Okay. Um. I guess I can start with that. Oh, I forgot I have four energy now. That's kind of crazy. Still taking some damage, but that's fine. Be taking a lot more damage this time. I'm also doing a lot more damage back, so that's all fine and dandy. Whatever. I'll take that. Okay, so Thunderclap, Battle Trance. Cool. Um, definitely shrug it off. Get an R? Do that? Oh, because I Battle Trance, that's right. Duh. And we continue on. Um, okay, I can just fiend fire. That's just a win. Easy. Okay, so I card options are flex, upgraded, fiend fire, or iron wave. Hmm. I guess iron wave is not terrible. Or I get the max HP. Plus two max HP. Iron Wave gives me block and damage. I can use, I can start getting rid of some strikes maybe. It's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, so I'm gonna do it. Still max health right now. Ooh. 
I can duplicate a card in my deck. Do I get to choose or is this random? I get to choose. <laughs> Do I upgrade body slam again? That could be kind of fun. Or maybe like power through plus. I upgrade barricade. Shockwave, uh, bloodletting. What do I upgrade? Or what do I duplicate? This is, I don't know if I've ever seen this event before. Um, maybe my power through plus, because that's a lot of block. That's pretty crazy. Oh boy. These guys. Okay, let me hit the guy in the center first. I have to kind of spread my damage out. And yeah, these, they, they're like lifelink, so uh, they don't die until all of them die. And if I take out one, they'll come back. So I have to play a bit tactfully. Ow. Okay, well, now I got barricades. But okay, well, I guess I could only shrug it off. Let's see what I get first. Can't okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I will bloodlet so I can defend, weave, and then barricade. Even though I'm not going to have any armor or block to actually carry over. Um, you know, it's, it's all good. Uh, okay. So I'm going to thunderclap. Power through. Strike. And body slam them. Oh, they died. I kind of didn't really want that, if I'm being honest. That's not what I was trying. I thought that was only going to deal 20, but I think they were vulnerable, which I forgot about. Um. Okay, no, I think this is fine. So I use Battle Trance to get some more cards. Shockwave. And this should be able to take them out. Oh, and then I defend him, body slam. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay, cool. I was like, I didn't know if I could do enough damage, but we, we made it work. Um, got a potion. Let's see what my card is. So rampage, shrug it off, or blood for blood. Interesting card options. I kind of do like the shrug it off. Blood for blood. I don't. I don't know how good that card is. It, it seems like a good one. I'm always taking damage. Let me get that. You know what? And it's upgraded. Let me get it. I don't know if I've ever tried it. Could be bad. Could be good. Yikes! What is this? Why am I getting hit so hard right off the bat? This sucks. What's up with that? <laughs> They're hitting me for like 34 right off the bat. That's that's messed up. I don't I don't appreciate that. I'll just say that. Might be controversial. <sighs> I guess I'm glad I got battle trains. Jeez. Ooh, shockwave coming in clutch, followed by a cleave, and then I should be able to take out one of them. And I bandage up. I don't have any block to do a body slam. But that's okay. See, blood for blood. It's already free. And that's like 22 damage. Plus they're vulnerable. That's 33. That takes them out. That, that seems like a good card. Maybe, maybe it's not the best, but it seems pretty good to me. And then we just... I don't know, fiend fire doesn't it doesn't matter. They're dead. It doesn't matter. Explosive potion will take it. Oh, 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 entrench. What a card for this deck. Two energy doubles my block. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I think I'm gonna go for the event and then back to the campsite. Ooh, remove a card from my deck. Yes, please. I'd like to remove one of the strikes because they're not that helpful. Hit the rest site. I've not taken much damage, so I'm definitely not... Well, I can't rest even if I wanted to. Um, forgot about that. I didn't forget, but I kind of forgot about that. 
Uh, definitely make my barricades two energy instead of three because it needs to be easier to play as it's going to be one of the key cards in my deck. So, yeah. Go for another event. These events have been doing good. Okay, this one looks a bit tougher. Um, okay, well, uppercut. Strike an iron wave that blocks most of the damage. Nineteen damage. Yeah, it could power through and entrench. Thunderclap. Okay, this is a good combo. See, so yeah, I do that. I power through to get twenty block, and then oh, that's more than enough actually. I don't even have to entrench it. I take them out, and then I guess I do defend still. We're getting close to some craziness with this deck because I already, I already have barricades already. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Take out them, do that. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. I'm taking 20 damage here, and there's not much I can do about it. But I should be good from here on out. Oh, look at this battle trance. Oh, that's good. Heal up. Um, does this give me three block per skill card? Not attack card. I guess I could play that. So yeah, I do. I have to bash first, and then second wind. I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Whatever. Ah, whatever. I think this this fight's pretty close to being done. Well, I guess I also have my calendar. I always forget about the calendar. Oh, that's pretty nice. Weak and vulnerable. More shield, more shield. Block all of what they're doing, and then I hit them back. For cool 21. So at the end of next turn is, 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 is it's, it's game. If I don't take them out before then, which... Done and done. I didn't even need the calendar. Um, True Grit. Gain nine block, exhaust one card. I kind of have a lot of cards in my deck, so I'm kind of cool not taking that card, even though it is upgraded and it is a block card. I'm going to skip. I'm just going to take the plus two max HP. Gosh, these guys have lifelink. More of these dudes... Who do I attack first? I guess the guy in the center. One actually trying to do damage. Oh boy, here we go. Barricades activated. Power through. Go. Bandage up. And then do I defend? How much damage am I taking? 21 here? I'd like to actually start carrying some damage over. So we'll be good like that. Just have four block left over. All right, I'm gonna bash like the one in the front, I guess. What is this gonna do? That takes him out, cool. I guess I just I'll power through. That ball, that extra block's gonna be real nice to have. I'm gonna cleave first. This blood for blood's probably the better option here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Music is pretty epic. Yeah, this game has pretty good music. Let me know if it's too loud or too quiet, by the way. I mean, I did some testing beforehand, and it seemed fine. Um, yeah, no, it has, it has good music. Good, good vibes, for sure. I'm just going to gain more block, I guess. I don't think I'm going to win this this round. Because that front guy is coming back. I still have to take out the back guy. Kind of did this in maybe not the best order, but we're getting there. So I did that. I still have 16 block. I'd rather take out the first guy. Ah, I'm so close. So close. Can I do 18 damage in one turn? Uh, silly question. 
Oh, we're so close to getting to some real shenanigans, especially now that I have barricades in entrance. Like, stuff's gonna get a little crazy. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of any of these cards. Chug it off. I already have one. I'll just take a plus two HP. Grab the chest, and I got 82 gold and a molten egg. So whenever you add an attack to your deck, upgrade it, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I think the music level is good. Cool. Glad to hear. Okay. Well, let's see if I can hopefully maybe win this first run. That'd be kind of sweet. Um, I guess I'll go to the shop first because that's something I need to do. Got money to spend. Ooh, another entrench and it's on sale. Interesting. What are the relics first? I like looking at the relics. Start each combat with one artifact. Yeah. You end your turn without block, gain six block. Yeah. It's a block relic, but I'm most of the time going to have blocks. I don't think that's good. Blue candle. Unplayable cursed cards can now be played. Yeah, not the best, I don't think. Another blood for blood. I don't know if that's worth grabbing another one. Upgraded cleave. That's kind of nice. Who am I fighting? No, that's not what I want to see. Who am I fighting? A clock guy. A time wizard dude. Um... No, they don't have minions, I don't think. So I don't think I need to worry about AoE stuff as much. I mean, I'm going to take the Entrench for sure. I'm going to remove uh, probably a Strike. So I want to thin out the deck just a little bit. Yup. I still have 200 gold. Um, I guess I could get one of these relics. Maybe, I, I mean... Right, maybe I can, we'll get this block relic, whatever. And I'll grab an upgraded cleave. Um, where do I get blood for blood? We'll get an upgrade. Oh, jeez, I'm, I'm conflicted now. We'll get cleave and call it a day. I guess I still have some more enemies to go through anyway. Um, so if I go to the right, I'm going to have to fight an elite, which normally I wouldn't mind, but since I took the coffee tripper, I can't heal up, which is kind of concerning. What is upgraded entrench? Oh, it makes it, it reduces the cost. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do that. Let's see, I'm kind of glad I, glad I grabbed a cleave now because look at this. There's multiple enemies. I guess maybe I should have did this first. Am I going to body slam the guy in the front? I don't think it matters. Oh, this guy's going to explode in a turn. Yikes. I need to take care of that guy like now. Whoops. Didn't see that. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm glad I did grab that relic because it's already doing a little. Take the five damage. I don't care. Oh, but I don't. Okay. You know what? Maybe this relic was good. Oh, and I get blood for blood. Oh, good stuff. Take them out, and they only have two health left. And then I will not that, because that will cost me health. Let me just bash them or something. And we'll do that. Cool. Cultist potion. Um, potions are pretty good. Explosive potion I like. Fire potion is also good. Duplicate potion I really like. So we'll keep what I have. Hard upgrades. Could get a true grit. I have to exhaust a card to use true grit. Maybe I'll grab it. I don't know. I think true grit's not bad. I still don't know how helpful it'll be. Oh, this guy. This guy, I'm glad I'm playing the deck I am because I have to just survive. I also have to deal damage, so it's a little bit of attacking and defending. I will battle trans because I feel like I'm going to need it. Um, and how do I, how do I want to do this? Okay, <laughs> that works. 
I'll just hit him twice. Unfortunately, I don't have barricades or else that armor would be carrying over, which would be nice, but um, yeah, not so much. Okay, well, I'm kind of glad I have Shrug right now. Jeez. Get rid of Bloodletting because that's completely useless this turn. Oh, did I just exhaust that? I didn't mean to do that. That's not good. I think I kind of want that later in this fight, but maybe not. Taking some damage this round. Not super great, but that's okay. Okay, that's a lot of damage coming my way. Um, jeez, yeah, I'm hit, getting hit hard. Okay, thank goodness. Well, let me shockwave then blood for blood. And that should do a decent chunk. Maybe I should have bashed first. Still taking six. Okay, only taking ten damage because my artifact. Yeah, that was kind of rough. Anything that heals me? No, it's all deal damage. I guess I'm gonna take the swift potion. That could be pretty good. Um, ooh, headbutt I will grab because I do like it does a decent amount of damage and lets me do a little bit of card manipulation, which is kind of nice. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, oh, Juggernaut is in the shop. I really wish I had enough for it. 50, 60 gold shy. That sucks. So whenever you gain block, deal five damage to a random enemy. Pretty fun card. Pretty fun card. Would have worked pretty decently in my deck, but uh, oh, well. I don't really know if I want anything here. I don't think so. No, I think I'm just going to chill. Just chill and uh, that'll be that. Last rest site before the final boss. Well, final boss of Act 3. Um, upgraded... Uppercut's kind of good. The upgraded entrench. I think I want the entrench because if I'm doing the doubling, like that's going to, especially once I get barricade activated, like that's going to start adding up real fast. So and I didn't even see a barricade first turn. That's not good. Okay. Well, I can re vulnerable or that does vulnerable and weak, but then it exhausts. That just add to their vulnerable? It does. So they have an annoying thing where after I play 12 cards, uh, my turn just ends. So to be kind of careful of what cards I'm playing when. Fourth card. Oh, there's barricades. That's what I was really hoping to see. Cool. Now that I have that in play, this match is probably going to go a lot better, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I guess I'll uppercut then headbutt. I'll probably put this on top. Body slam, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have did that last body slam because it really didn't do much, and now I'm like gonna be able to play two cards this next turn. Um, which I mean that's good. I guess I'll do that. It's a lot of damage. That's all I can do. Um, okay. That's good. I'll take that. Just do all that shenanigans. Oh, maybe I should I should have did Fiend Fire probably, because I think that gets rid of curses. Or like status cards. Pretty sure. Ooh, give me entrench, give me entrench. Dang it. I wanna start using entrench, but. I almost want to use that card that lets me, my potion that lets me draw more cards. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Just give me one entrench, that's all I want. Did I not just use it? What happened? What happened? Oh, cause I, I'm an idiot. I battle trans, so it didn't do anything. Oh man, that's unfortunate. That sucks. I just wasted that potion. That really sucks. 
<laughs> if he take a lot of damage here. Yeesh. I forgot I was gonna get fast forwarded. Yikes. Okay. That was kind of nice. Thirty-three damage. So I can uppercut to weaken him a bit, and then defend and strike. I guess I don't know. I Means next turn I can only play three cards. Still have some defend though, which is good. Um. If I play Battle Trance, so I can only play one of the cards I draw. I could just play two str a Strike and a Cleave. I think that's probably better. I don't know. Just trying to get whatever damage I can. Okay, now we're getting... Oh, okay, here we go. Now, this should be a little fun. So I play that. And head headbutt them. Don't really care about the headbutt. What I care about is getting another Entrench. Now I double my block. Now I'm at 80. Now I deal 80 damage. And I'm absorbing all of their attacks that's coming at me. Oh yeah, this is where the fun begins. Double my block again. Hit them with a cleave. Oh, they're not looking too hot. And I forgot my duplicate potion. I should really be using that. Gain some more block. Draw a card and probably. Ooh, I got another entrench. There we go. And then I fiend fire. We are sitting real good. 86 block. Whew. I think I could just oh, pretty much win this turn, right? Maybe not. Yeah, no, I can. So I could do something like this, right? I play Thunderclap. Power through. Gives me a hundred... Oh, but the timer! I forgot about the timer. Oh, unfortunate. I could have won if I would have remembered that's a thing. Alright, well, I'll keep blocking. I don't care. Come at me, bro. So I'm gonna have 20 block after this. I guess. I'm, I'm having a lot of extra cards in my deck, which is not good. Man, I had a whole whole plan for that last turn, and then I forgot about the timer for the cards. Uh, but I can do duplicate potion, and then use that, and that doubles, and I do that. They're down to 15, and then I throw the last potion. Boom. Done, and a done. I've ready my blade. I attack. But uh, the heart still continues on. Victory question mark? I'd take that as a victory. I at least got through all the bosses, made it to the end of Act 3. Like I said, that was just Ascension level 0, but hey, a win's a win, so I'll, I'll take it. We'll just fire it right back up and head into Ascension level... I guess we could do one... I might just go with start start with two. That's the level I'm at, which at this point, I'd rather just play on two, try to beat that. So because I don't think there's a huge difference between one and two. So first round went good. Let's see how this next game is going to go on Ascension level two. Uh, so let's first take a look at the map. Look at the map. Look at the map. I'm fighting this guy at the end. I don't remember his name. It's the uh, prism prism fellow. Um, okay. So look at the merchants. There's one kind of far down there. I don't hate that path. A couple of elites along the way. If I were to go like 
down this way and go like along here. Whoops, and then like back here. Yeah, I don't I don't hate that. I could like start with like that path maybe. This so is then as far as my starting thing. Um Transform two cards, lose all gold, obtain a random boss relic. I like the random common relic, because relics can be really powerful, like really powerful. So this one not so much, but it's this one's not bad. At the start of your combat, you just draw two additional cards. So that's nothing crazy, but some of them can really make or break some of the card builds uh, in this game. And we're off. This is Ascension Level 2 with the Ironclad. Let's see, if, which I've never beat on Ascension Level 2, so we'll see if I can uh, get, it, get it done today, but um, I'm not, not sure how, how that's going to go exactly. So they're going to hit me again. Um, I guess I just I could bash them. This could be good for next turn, but I'm still getting hit for like 11. Yeah, I kind of got hit a lot more than I probably should have for my first combat, but whatever. In the end, I only lost 7 HP. And here are the first cards. Sword, whoa. Cigarettes are just falling out of my pocket. Uh, so we got this clothesline, flame barrier, or sword boomerang. Flame Barrier is kind of fun. I don't know if I really want to go for another blocking thing since I just did that last round, but also like you should never really go like with a set like archetype in mind because what the card and relics give you is kind of a lot more important to like dictate what you should do. Uh, Sword Boomerang's not bad. It's kind of an AOE, and then if I want to build into their strength build, it's a good strength card, so I'm going to go with that. Maybe that was a terrible idea. Oh, we got the classic banana donut box, and I will go with the just max HP. That's all I need right now. Hit up the next encounter. Okay, well, I'll just strike away at these fools. Stupid slime's gonna lick me, and I can just bash and then sword boomerang. That's nice, even if there's just one target. I mean, sword boomerang then just does 12 base damage. And then if you go for more of a strength build, it kind of each hit applies the strength. So it kind of like multiplies, uh, which is pretty sweet. Speaking of strength build, wow. Got flex and heavy blade. Um, yeah, I don't know which would be better. To, I mean, I guess flex is probably better because I need flex to even need some source of strength before the heavy blade really starts being impactful. So... And what was I going to go? I guess off to the right, right? So. Okay, this is kind of a fun start. I get I did get flex right off the bat, so I can sword boomerang into that, into that. Look at that. Did 31 damage in one turn. That's not bad. Can I do 20? That's 8. No, not even close. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of close, but. Take one damage. That's not bad. I guess two? I miss count? Whatever. I'm flexing on this dude. Taking him down. Strength potion, and here are my options. I do like cleave. Uh, Berserk's kind of cool, though. Gain two invulnerable, then at the start of your turn, you gain one energy. Any energy gain is is, is a really interesting option. I, do, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more AoE, so I will go ahead and take cleave. I could choose, I could rest, or I could go for the OE. I'm, I'm gonna go for the OE route. Ooh, just picked up a tungsten rod. Whenever you lose HP, lose one less. Interesting. That's really interesting, especially there are some cards that t say like, lose one HP to do X, Y, Z, then I don't, I think you just lose no HP with those kinds of cards. So that could be pretty good for whatever the heck I'm doing. I don't have a lot of block right now, so this is just... I gotta just power through this as quick as I can, I think. I'm not even gonna go for the defend here. I just need to start trying to take him down. Especially I had that flex last turn, so I think I really kind of needed to. To do that there, at least. Um, let's see, now I get all the defends, and I just have, like, energy to spare. I don't even need it. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad.
I should have did something different. I should have maybe used one of my potions. I didn't realize I'm, uh, it's like weekend or whatever. Well, that was a lot of, uh, health. Still lose. I guess this guy is an elite, but still, that was kind of rough. Happy flower every three turns gain an energy. Ooh, that's a fun card. Uh, and here are my options. So gain two energy with seeing red. Reckless charge. I do like reckless charge. I'll grab that. It's free. I mean, it's, it's zero energy. It's not free because then you have to shuffle a curse into your deck. But uh, it's worth it, in my opinion. I get a good AoE to start. Okay, well, it's not not really a good one, but I'll take it. We before would have preferred cleave, but I got boomerang, so. I guess try to take out the back one first. I don't know. Some of these enemies that have like multiple enemies, I really don't know if there's like certain ones that are better to take out first or second. And some of them I have an idea of which one I should do, but a lot of them I'm like, I don't know. Oh, interesting. So I could flex, weave, and reckless charge. All right, took a little bit of damage there. Um, see, like brutality. See, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'll try this now to see what happens, but I'm pretty sure if I were to take brutality then because of my Tungsten Rod Relic, they kind of just cancel out. And I would just, once I play Brutality, I just get an extra card per turn. Pretty sure that's how that works. Um, Yeah, if I want to hit up the shop, I guess I have to go right and fight another Elite, which I'm only, I'm at less than half health. So it's the big red uh, Goblin guy. I might have to use my Strength Potion. Then what's the other one? The Book of Stabbing? I hope I don't get the Sentinels either. I really hate the Sentinels. I kind of jinxed myself, I guess. I don't know what happened there. These guys are some of my least favorite enemies. They're just so annoying to deal with. I'm just bad at dealing with them. Last game took me a while when I encountered them. Uh, yeah, I think I did zero damage. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna just defend, defend, and strike. I have to take out that next one next turn, or else it's going to be really bad for me. Kind of miss not having that um, stone calendar anymore, because that was super handy to have last game. Okay, so I'm a sword boomerang. I guess defend and attack one. I don't know, I'll try to take out the front one, I guess. Like, like I said, I don't think it really matters at this point. I just need to deal with these guys quickly while trying to take uh, not a whole lot of damage here. Ideally. Yeah, maybe I should have strike that front one again, actually. So I don't get any good attacks. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, he has one health. Gosh, I really shouldn't have done what I did then. Mistakes were made, to be sure. Now we survived. We're good. We're good. Came out. All right. Uh, the next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Okay. Got a weak potion. Ooh, okay. I'm grabbing heavy blade for sure. Because now that I have at least one source of um, strength with my flex, uh, that could be pretty nice. And these are some interesting relics. So I got the Juzu bracelet, so no um, normal enemies no longer happen in the question mark rooms. And then the Gremlin Horn, which I really like. So whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Super helpful for if there's a bunch of small enemies or there's like bosses that keep spawning minions. Super nice to have. I'm gonna heal. I would probably prefer to upgrade, but uh, my health is pretty dang low, so. I don't feel like risking it. Uh, who is the boss again? It's this guy. I forget how he works. I know disarm is good. I don't know if I want to take it though. Um, bag of marbles, eh. We get the membership card. That I kind of like the membership card, but um, I don't know if it's really that good. Hmm. If 
I get the membership card, I'm probably not gonna get too much else, but everything's cheap now, cool. I still could get the bag of marbles. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards, to be honest, because if I'm going more towards the strength build, yeah, that could be kind of nice just to have a uh, start of combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Yeah, we'll take it. It's going to take pretty much all my gold minus a single coin, but uh, we'll go for it. Oh, I'll upgrade a card in my deck, sure. Oh, I can upgrade Brutality to be innate? Yeah. Innate means it starts in your hand. So I will just do that. That's kind of nice, then. It, it hardly takes away from, like, a lot of the other stuff I have, but... Um, no, this is good, because, like, a Sword Boomerang and Reckless Charge and still... Cool. Yeah, that's good. Ash, defend, cleave. They're getting smoked. Flex on the haters and then strike them down. Look at that. Easy. How's my AoE situation? I know I have cleave and a sword boomerang. Um, I wouldn't mind grabbing thunderclap. It's not a terrible card. I, I don't want to add too many cards. Yeah, actually, I'll probably skip that for now. Especially compared to Sword Boomerang. I mean, it's just like a worse AoE option, at least for the build I'm doing. Like, I'm trying to go for strength build. And now, look at this. An AoE would have been great here, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, but this is where the Gremlin Horn is going to be so nice. So nice. So I'll start out with the Sword Boomerang to see what I hit. You know, I Reckless Charge, that one. Draw a card, get a card. Strike them. Draw a card, get a card. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it for this. Oh, I can deal 14 damage? Oh, I'll take them out. <laughs> so nice. I really like the Gremlin Horn. I don't get it very often, but... Um, pretty fun one. To be sure. Uh, so I'll flex and cleave, and that should be pretty close to being done. Strike and strike. Cool. Block potion? Um, I do have two strength potions. And a weak potion? I'll get rid of the weak potion. I mean, if I'm doing a strength build, strength potions seem kind of good to have, so we'll keep it. Um, wild strike's not bad. 12 damage. I do have to shuffle a wound into my draw pile. It's 12 damage for one energy. Warcry's not bad. Maybe I'll take Warcry. I just have a little bit more card draw. Let me do some upgrading now, because I don't think I've upgraded anything in a while. Um, I think last I upgraded was... Oh, yeah, the Brutality. Heavy Blade's nice, but I don't have a super whole lot of like sources of strength, so the odds of it actually coming into play are not very good. So I'm going to upgrade Flex. Flex is a good upgrade, especially if I go for a strength build like I am. So. And you know what? I'm going to use a strength potion right off the bat. It's not like I'm going to lose it. I'll use it. So I'll start out with Brutality, do a war cry, put a defend on top, and then we'll just bash and strike. That's a good start. That's a good start. Okay, they're going to be hitting me for a while. This is messed up. Flex and Sword Boomerang. I forgot. I wonder if it says. I forget there's like, yeah, it takes a certain amount of damage, like, and then it kind of goes into its defensive form. I always forget that. So I need to do this first because I'm going to be taking damage in return, and then I cleave. Reckless charge and strike. Strike. I'm taking damage along the way, but I don't really care. I'm doing damage, so that's, that's what really counts. Block some of this, and I guess just heavy blade to deal a whole bunch back. This is gonna hurt. So Twenty damage is coming my way. Can flex. 
so a sword boomerang and bash maybe how much okay so on once it takes 40 so that's what 27 plus 14 that's 40 right <laughs> i think my math is an over i'll die because of it no we're good okay okay cool Okay, well, I will defend. I got some options here. I'm gonna defend again. I wanna play a little bit defensively. Still gonna heavy blade and reckless charge, so I'm be losing most of my health, but. They're already down to 15. I'm kinda smoking through this guy. Ain't nothing. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Immolate's a fun card. Good AoE. I think one of the best AoEs. Um, the only one I'm also kind of considering is Corruption. I'm just looking at what skills I have. It's mainly just my defense. Everything else is free. So... Yeah, I'm taking M08. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Let's see what my relics are. Uh, gain... Uh, an energy at the start of your turn. Whenever you open a boss or non-boss chest, obtain a curse. Okay. And that's the one that gives you two quest cards. Philosopher's Stone. This is probably my favorite, I think, of the options. That I start with an extra energy, but then all enemies start with one strength. So they deal extra damage. Yeah. Okay. Floor two. Here we are. So, fighting this guy at the end. Let's see where the merchants are. There's one there, so I'll probably plan for this one on the left. I'm gonna work my way back. I'll probably go like here, 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 here. How many rests is that? That's not very many. That's like two. That's three total? I guess that's probably. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get much more than that. Um, I want to hit a decent amount of the question mark rooms as well. So I'm actually going to start here and then kind of go like the zigzag way up. Oh, yikes. Good. These birds. Having that extra strength is actually going to be really bad for me. God, that's so little damage. It sucks. Okay, this is really good. I can flex, Emily, Reckless Charge, Sword Boomerang. They're gotta be, they gotta be dead, right? There's no way they're not. Surprisingly not dead. I could take that one out. The Gremlin Horde will go off. I just can do that, that, and strike, I guess. Flex, Emily, that's a deadly combo. I just have you boy dead. All right, we'll take that. Liquid bronze, potion. Uh, okay, rapture. Maybe I need to start playing around this card. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain two strength. Yes, please. If I combine that with brutality, that could be insane. That's not even just for a turn. That's just straight up gain the strength. Ooh, okay. I have the option to either obtain a special relic and become cursed, or I can upgrade a card, which I'll upgrade a card. And um, I think MOA is what I want to upgrade. That's plus seven damage. That's crazy. And Cleave is only plus three damage. The boomerang is just going to be plus three damage. Like, that's, that's, a, that's a good chunk of damage, so I'll take it. All right, so I'll start out with Brutality. I'll bash this front one. I don't have a lot of block. This is going to I might use my block potion. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use my block potion. Just so I don't take too much damage, but... Oh, now I flex immolate. They're gotta be dead pretty much after this, right? Flex and immolate. This can deal 32 damage each. Yeah. Not bad. Take all the gold and here are my options. Rapture again. Nah, I don't think I need two. Shrug it off. Nah. Fire breathing. Nah. Skip. All right. To the next room. Um, and offer 75 gold to remove a card from my deck. I don't really think I want to remove anything. I'm liking where my deck's at. I guess I could maybe remove like a strike. I'll remove a strike, sure. I guess I don't need all of the strikes. So I'll do brutality, followed by defend, defend, Emily. Oh, look at this. Flex plus heavy blade equals a ton of damage. And I can wreck the strike. Sword boomerang. Dead in a flash. This I don't want to jinx myself, but this run, like I got a pretty good deck going on. I think I want to grab the headbutt. Ooh, but I like armaments a lot. I do. I'm kind of a sucker for it, but I'll grab headbutt. We'll upgrade something because I don't need to rest right now. Is this all I can upgrade? Wow. Cool. I'm gonna upgrade my heavy blade because now I have some more strength options going. Um, that's gonna be coming more into play. Okay, now if I'm still heading for the shop, I guess I gotta go right. I do kinda wanna fight the elite, but I'll be fighting some later, so. Oh boy, here we go. Brutality, I'll emulate. Oh, I should have bashed then emulated. That was a misplay. I also should have striked the back guy. Man, that was a double misplay. My bad. I kind of hopped right into that round without thinking too much. I was just so excited for my opening there that uh, I didn't really consider too much else. Okay. <sighs> this sucks, because I do like Sword Boomerang, but that's an upgraded cleave. Both good AoEs. I'm doing okay on my AoE. I wouldn't mind grabbing an upgrade cleave, though. Because it's just stick enemies like this. They're so annoying. And I have my flex immolate. That's going to hurt them. Take out one. Gremlin horn. Take out another. Gremlin horn. Take out the last one. Man, this run's going great. Whirlwind. Um, That's a good card, I think, for me. Because that, that kind of works with strength in a pretty great way from... What I remember. I forget I get two whoops. I get two uh relics, which is pretty nice. I get whetstone, which upgrades two random cards, and then molten egg whenever I add an attack to your deck, upgrade it. Sweet. And then I'm gonna hit up the shop. Which everything is discounted, which is nice. What are the relics looking like? Every time you play 10 attacks, gain an attack. Energy, whenever you enter shop, heal 15 HP. Whenever you shuffle the draw pile, gain six block. Those are all okay. I'm gonna grab the nunchuck, because that's kind of fun. And then maybe I'll grab another flex. I don't want to put too many flexes in my deck, but that seems like a good option. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight in an arena? No. I can finally do the Rapture Brutality combo. That's going to be really fun when that happens. Um, I guess I'll cleave and then... I don't even know what. That was pretty slick. I wish I had more defense, but I was able to do almost the whole battle in one turn. It's not bad. Did lose some HP. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the powerful fight. Why not? That could be kind of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my potions of liquid thorns for this, because I feel like I'm gonna need it. Look at this. Brutality, flex, immolate. Then I can leave. I can... Okay, good, good, good. I heavy blade. <laughs> this deck is kind of wild. It's starting to pop off. Man, that was quick. I got a lot of stuff. So Wizard Tail, when you would die, heal to 50% of your max. Oh man, that's good. Pair upon pickup, raise your max HP by 10. 100 gold and I get to add a card. I'm trying to get too excited, but this run seems to be going real good. But now the question is, do I do I want to attempt to fight an elite? I kind of do, because I don't think I fought a single one this floor. And that's kind of an issue. It's not an issue, but I mean, you get good stuff for fighting them. So let's let's take a take a take a gander at what I can do. And look at that, flex, immolate, brutality. Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be good. Maybe I can draw the other flex? No, but I'll put the strike back to keep the whirlwind. Immolate to take out both those guys. Gremlinhorn will go off drawing me cards. Cool. Sword Boomerang will deal a lot of damage to them. I'll deal 21 damage. That's 7 damage per. Well, this is doing 13 damage. It's a little bit more damage value. I guess I better defend some of that. It was a good first turn, you know, all things considered. Wow, so close. They're gonna probably bring out the minions, but I just have to take out the main guy and then the minions will flee, so. That's a GG right there. Put the flex back on top. They, they just retreat, yeah. Cool, cool. 33 gold, meat on the bone. If your HP is at 50% or lower at the end of combat, heal 12. Ooh, that's really good. Strength potion, I'll take. And then a card choice. Oh, I do like battle trance. I don't have that, do I? I might grab that. Because I need some more card draw. That'll eat one pretty well, all things considered. Bash, and I could just double cleave, I guess. Oh, I had an extra energy I could have spent to strike. Whatever. Um, shoot, I'm gonna have to take this guy out like this turn. Plus, I'm gonna get hit bad. Oh. No, this is gonna hurt. I should have used one of my potions. That was that was a misplay. That was a misplay. That was a misplay. I, I goofed. I also think the order I played stuff in, if I would have done the smaller attacks first and then the bigger ones, the shield stuff would have probably uh, triggered a little bit differently. Inflame though, glad to see that. Another source of strength I would gladly take. Ooh, I'll, I'll upgrade all strikes and defense. Sure, that sounds like a good time. Um... And my deck's looking pretty good, so I think I'm just going to rest because I actually want to try to make it through this fight. So I guess I now have all my potions, so I'm not too worried about that. I got Rapture and Brutality on the first turn. This is going to be a fun fight. Maybe a pretty quick one, too. We'll see. Um, do I use one of my potions? I'm going to use my Strength Potion. One of them. I don't think I'll use both. That's doing 11 damage. Pretty sweet. Cool. And I should... Okay. Let me war cry first. See what I get. That's good. That's really good. I get a cleave. I'm glad I take that. So I flex, Emily, cleave, and I should be able to take out one of the guys.
I'm just gonna take the damage and just start attacking. I'll take the 16. I'm pretty much at max health, so I mean, my health is something I can kind of use to my advantage. Heavy Blade, that's gonna hit them hard. Look at that, they're right down to 100 HP. This is great. Flex, Reckless Charge, hit them with the Cleave, Double Defend, Strike them. Flex, Heavy Blade, that's gonna deal a lot. Sword Boomerang should take them out on this. Boom, that guy was easy, easy. Man, oh man. And would you look at that? Really interesting cards. Um, Juggernaut's not super helpful. Upgraded Reaver is an interesting one. Deal five damage to all enemies, heal HP equal to unblocked damage and exhaust. But I think I'm really leaning towards the strength build. I have to grab Demon Form. At the start of your turn, I gain two strength. Cost three energy. It's a big ask, but I think it's good. Okay, I don't really like any of these. I guess it's either the Sneko Eye that makes you confused. Draw two additional cards, which I don't like. Runic Pyramid at the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. That doesn't seem good to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but that doesn't seem good. Or the Sacred Bark, where you double the effectiveness of potions. I would take that one for sure. I have a lot of relics. I have way more relics than I normally do, but I'm not complaining because a lot of them are very helpful right now, but... We're on to the final floor. Let's, 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 I gotta play carefully. So I'm gonna aim for one of these two shops. Um, probably this one on the left because it's a little bit less deadly. So I'll probably take something like this path down to here. And then maybe like down here to this. Let's start with this one. Oh man, look at this. Pretty fun stars. So I can flex. Do that. I can cleave. Whirlwind. It's not going to take everybody out, though. Oh, wait, that's good, though, right? Because then I'll hold up. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> That works. That works. Fairy in a bottle. I don't think I've ever seen this before. When you would die, heal to 60% of your max HP and discard this potion instead. And don't I still have the thing that the wizard tail that's going to bring me back? So I right now have two things that can revive me and I'm on the third floor. Not trying to jinx myself. This run seems really good. I'll definitely take the upgrade boomerang. So the seeing red also could be really helpful. And it's upgraded. I'll take that. I'll take a little bit more energy. I can transform a card. Let's transform this upgraded defend. What do I get? Perfected strike. Okay. Not like the greatest card in the world, but I mean, I'll take it. It's gonna hurt. I'm taking a lot of damage this round. It's 25 damage coming at me, blocking for 8, so I'm taking, what, 17? But here we go. This is a little, this is something. Double flex. Sword boomerang. Let's see. That did, like, nothing. I have, like, no defense in my deck now, so this kind of sucks. I'm just taking all this damage. Um, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Battle Trance and then War Cry, I think. Yeah, then I'll War Cry to get rid of Strike. So then I can Inflame, Cleave, Immolate. Okay, that's it. Okay, <laughs> this is easy. This game's easy. Heavy Blade upgraded Shockwave plus or Armaments. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. 
They're both pretty good. Both the upgrade cards, at least. Another heavy blade I wouldn't mind. Shockwave's actually really decent. I might take that. Especially that's upgraded. Kind of good to have. Uh, which route did I want to go? I think this left one. Because I don't really need an earlier market. Well, I guess I could hit up a, another merchant. It's not like the end of the world. I have the discount card, so... Oh, I'm falling. I'm going to lose something. I guess I'm losing one of my strikes, because I'm not losing flex or brutality, that's for sure. Let's see what the shop's offering up. Um, nothing that great, to be honest. Pen nib could be fun. Every 10th attacks you play deals double damage. That could be kind of fun. I mean, medical kit's it's good if I would have maybe gotten it earlier. Maybe I'll still get it. Same with the pen nib. What is this? Negate the next two curses you obtain? I'll pass. I just won't obtain curses. Problem solved. Next enemy. Here we go. All right, this guy. This guy's a pain, but I actually should be able to deal with him relatively easily, I think. Because I got a good deck. Okay, I'm still taking a bit of damage. That's fine. That's fine. I did nothing. I don't know why I did that. Oof, 61 damage coming out my way. Oh, I can shockwave, battle trans, hope I get a flex. Cool, I did. I can use that to go into a sword boomerang to really steal some damage here. Could, yeah, I, I'm gonna do that. I'd rather apply some vulnerable to them. I don't think they have any, or they do, but they just, um, I don't know. I will flex. Heavy Blade, I think, is going to do most of what I need here. Brings him down to 15. Okay, we'll do that. And then Cleave. And I'm just chilling. All right, this guy hasn't been too bad so far. My hand's been okay. I'm not trying to jinx myself yet. Not out of this fight, but... I think we're pretty much there. Cool. Uh, near my options. Probably not going to add any of them. Second win plus, no. Evolve, no. A flex, I already have two, so I'm good. Glowing Tesseract, spinning and shifting in the air. I touch a sharp pain flows through you. Add a colorless card, two colorless cards, or three colorless cards. Let's go for two. That seems like a better value. Ooh, dramatic entrance, deal 12 damage to all enemies, and that could be affected by strength, so that I'll, I'll take that. What is my other card options? Upgrade all cards for the rest of combat. Shuffle three skills into your draw pile that cost zero, or just draw three cards. I kind of like the draw three cards. It's kind of not too exciting, but uh, it should be good. And what do I want to do? Probably the left path. Yeah, I think I want to avoid all these elites right now. I want to do some smithing. What, do, what can I upgrade? Can I make demon form cheaper? No. Can I make inflame better? I guess I could. This gives me stuff like every round. What does Whirlwind do? Deals 8 damage. That's actually a lot better. I should upgrade Whirlwind because most of the time I don't use it because it's just not as good as the cards I have. I would like to get it to a better spot. Sundial, every three times you shuffle your card, gain energy. All right. So let's see. Brutality. Inflame. I 
So I can do the dramatic entrance. And, oh wait, I still have all my stuff. Okay, well, I can start taking out some of these guys. So they're dead. Oh man. I was hoping the Gremlin Horn would help me out a little bit more than that, but um... I should be good at the end of this next round. So I will flex, immolate, and that should be pretty much it. We are rocking and rolling. Duplicate potion, I do kind of like, but I like my other potions better. Maybe I can get rid of the thorns. Six thorns, yeah, we'll get rid of it. The duplicate potion can be extremely good. Interesting cards, body slam plus, wild strike plus, almost strike plus. Um. I don't know what I'd rather have. I guess the Pummel Strike does give me extra card draw. So that's kind of nice. Maybe I'll grab that. You know what? Yeah. That's, I think, my final shop of the game. So let's see what I can get. Uh, looking up top of the cards. I don't... Rampage. I don't really want any of these cards. I'm good. Any good relics, though? Toolbox. The start of each your combat, choose one. Nah, I don't really... Whenever you apply Vulnerable, apply one weak. Interesting. The start of your... Each combat heal 2 HP. Those all kind of suck. <laughs> um, Because anything that has vulnerable probably has weak, except for my bash. Right? Yeah, that's like the only card that would benefit from that. So it's not that good. But it also, I mean, what else am I going to spend my coin on? I could get that one and toolbox. Maybe the toolbox will be cool. I don't know. Maybe that'll... Come in clutch. And at the start of each combat, heal 2 HP. I mean, sure. It's. I'll, I'll confirm and buy that and the toolbox. I mean, I still have gold left. I could get something else up here. Um... Rampage Plus seems fun, but I don't think my deck's made for that. So we'll just pass and uh, keep what I keep and keep moving on. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight that elite. I kind of don't. Ooh. So either I lose Sword Boomerang, or I can lose my Duplicate Potion and obtain a Relic. I will go with uh, the Duplicate Potion. It's kind of a good potion, but I'd rather lose that than a Relic. Well, yeah, or then Sword Boomerang. Well, yeah, I'll lose the Duplicate Potion. What did I gain? The Anchor. Starts combat with 10 block. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the left path and just smith up. And then I'll heal up at the end. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my demon form. I want to actually use that. It'll be kind of nice. Now I'll go for another event. The events have been pretty good. I guess I'll just gain 100 gold. That's kind of useless, but whatever. I will rest up before this final fight. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. If you play a, beat, a debuff to an enemy, they take five damage. That's kind of fun. What's my max hand size? I'm gonna draw three, but that might be too much. Oh man, look at the starting hand. Okay, so I'll start with brutality. Well, brutality. I will. Bash. Oh, I should have did this sadistic nature first, but whatever. Dramatic entrance. No. Emily. Sword boomerang. And then I can see red. To cleave and strike, I guess. I don't know. It means I can only play two cards next turn, but whatever. Should I use my strength potion? I guess I should have did that maybe last round. Um, no, I'll save it. No, I'll use it. I'll use it. I'm gonna probably need it here in a second. I'm gonna start. Oh, I forgot about this stupid rewind thing. Oh, this ain't good. That's a lot of damage. Strike? I don't know. Okay, well, maybe not in the best spot here. 
Because he's doing a lot of damage and I can't do much about it. Yikes. Now we have one health left. Four? Okay, that's even better. I thought it was one. A pummel strike that maybe I get a flex or something? No. Okay, well, I will perfected strike. Reckless charge. Pummel strike. Do that? Is that it? Oh, man. The heart of the spire, the source of the evil. I ready my blade. 740 damage. Delta total of 5,400. I did it! I beat it on Ascension 2. Wow, that's the first time I've done that. Ascension 3 mode unlocked. That was a good run. That was a good run. Seemed kind of close there to the end, but I still had the one relic that could bring me back, plus the one potion that could bring me back. So, like, all in all, a pretty good run, I would say. Dang. Okay, well, I'm glad. <laughs> God, I got another win in. Jeez. And I, I'm un I've unlocked Ascension Level 3. Where elites are deadlier. So, I'm going to take a quick break, go to the bathroom, and then probably play one more game. So, I will be right back. If I can find the BRB thing. Uh, there we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to Solo Gaming Sunday Slay the Spire Edition with me, Dale Gribble. Uh, hello there, Mousery. Favorite character is the third, third one, then the fourth. So that's the, I forget their names, it's like the Defect and the Watcher, right? Um, so you're in for a treat if you like the game. Yeah, so I mean, I've played it on computer and on computer, I've unlocked all the characters, um, which they definitely seem unique, but when I played them, I think I just my understanding of the game isn't all that great. So I'm still learning 
Um, they definitely just seemed more confusing to me. <laughs> so I'm like, I kind of just want to stick with... Uh, I like the Silent a lot, but I mean, the Ironclad has just been like the easiest for me to wrap my head around. So that's why I've been just really trying to get through these dang Ascension levels, which we just had a successful Ascension 2 run. So now I unlocked Ascension 3, which is what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and embark. I've been having fun. I, since I downloaded this on my iPad, I've been playing it a ton the, pa pa blah, 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 the past few weeks. Uh, so, Because I, I had no idea they had a mobile version of this game. And it's... I, I found, like, this is a great mobile game because, I mean, it just works well on mobile, but it's also, like, it doesn't take too much time. So if I'm, like, got a few minutes here and there, I could just open up my iPad real fast, you know, play a couple of games or, like, a couple, of, you know, combat encounters and then put it away. It's pretty easy to, like pick back up and replay and start from where you started last time. It's it's pretty great on mobile, so big fan, big fan. Um, but let's go ahead and start with this run. So let's see who I'm fighting. The slime boss. OK, yikes. So that means I'm going to really need to worry about like AOE kind of stuff, I think, is what I really need here. Uh, so I can obtain a random Card. HP, obtain a curse and get a rare relic. I'm gonna go with the rare card. That sounds like a good time. It could be something pretty good. Judgment, okay. So I got judgment. So maybe I'm going more for a block build this round, which the first game I played, I had kind of a good block suite kind of going towards the end there. So if I can get something like that working again, that'd be pretty sweet. Let me kind of look at the map here real fast, see what I want to do. So there's the merchant, so I'd probably like to hit them up um, at some point. Is there an earlier one? Yeah, not really, kind of. Try to hit them up, I'm gonna kind of go like this path. There's like double wheats there, I don't love that. I guess I could pivot off that. I want to hit a lot of enemies at first, so maybe I'll go like, start here and kind of Kind of go that path. I was just something like that. I don't know. What is this whenever I game block, do five damage to a random enemy? That's yeah, not great right now. I guess I'll just. Oh, I I should have. Yeah, never mind. That was kind of dumb. I did two blocks and a strike. I really should have did two strikes and a block, but it's not like it really matters too much, but. I'll just full block there, it's fine. I'm gonna be taking more damage here soon, so. There we go, okay. I'll heal up most of that, at least. I mean, not all of it, but pretty close. All right, duplicate potion and my first card. Anger, clothesline, or pummel strike? Hmm. And I mean, the issue is I got that free, free random card of Juggernaut, so. Yeah, it seems like I would kind of want to lean more towards a block type of build. And none of these really help with that. Almost Strike is kind of some nice card draw and damage. Clothesline's not bad, like, all around, but... Maybe I'll go... I do... I like Anger. I think it's a fun card, but... I'm gonna go with this, just so I can have some extra damage and some card draw. And then I'll go to the left here and keep fighting some enemies. Um, okay. I already miss having my gremlin horn. That was so nice. I had so many relics last game. That was pre that was a pretty awesome game. Not to like, not trying to brag or anything, but um, that was a fun one. I had had a some good luck all around. No, if I can get a, if I can get some good block cards, that Juggernaut card is gonna be really nice. Ooh, and there's one of my favorites, Armaments. Armaments isn't bad as is, but once you upgrade it, that's when it's really fun. What do I do? Just that and that, and just. That oh, it didn't even activate the shell. I'm an idiot because that's just gonna make this a lot more difficult now. Oh, I can attack him in one hit like that. 
And that just bypasses the blo- Whoa, okay. More into something new every day. Uh, oh, carnage. That's... That's some serious damage. Where do I get wild strike? I mean, I want to... I like having those big damage cards. Yeah, we'll get it. It's a fun one. that and maybe upgrade the pummel strike even though I can't use it. Hmm. Defend and Carnage, I guess. Wait, I can take him out next turn? Yeah. Okay, it was not the cleanest, but I'll, 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 I'll take it. Hmm. I like Cleave as an AoE. Blood for Blood's kind of fun, but I'm going to take that as an AoE, but I really need to not be taking too many more cards because my decks are getting a little thick. Okay, well, they're just going to hit me like that. It's kind of, it's kind of messed up. I'll take the extra seven damage. I don't care. They hit me all they want. Actually, I kind of messed that up. I should have just did like a triple defend and then that would have done some damage to him anyway, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, go ahead and do the extra defend. Leave. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. My health isn't doing so hot, but um, oh, I'll heal up. Got a blood potion. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take any of these. Uh, intimidate, I don't think it's all that great for what I'm doing. Direct to strike whirlwind, nah. Nah, let's just skip it. The first elite, here we go. Let's, let's see how I can do with this guy. Uh, hello there, Lucifer. Lucifer, <laughs> how's it going? Hope you're... Where's my way? What, what do you mean? Confused. Um, I guess I'll just... No, I'm not going to even defend. So this guy's still sleeping for two more turns. Um, I kind of want to wait for something a little bit better. Card wise, I guess something like this will work. Do that. That damage is going to probably wake them up. Where's Bertha? I'm. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, Bertha. I know a Nancy. Talk about my wife. Nancy Hicks Gribble. Do I... Ash, that doesn't that makes him vulnerable, not weak. So I'll just do that and they'll get hurt anyway. Kinda of forgot that's a thing. Okay, there we go. Pummel strike and two couple of strikes. Just slowly chipping away at the damage. Oh, I should have armaments first. That's not a big deal. They're gonna be dead pretty soon. Where's my son? Man, I don't know what you're talking about, Lucifer. <laughs> How many? You keep spamming a chat. You're gonna get but, like timed out or something. I don't know. I don't know what kind of nonsense you're talking about. 
I don't know. I don't know your wife. I don't know your son. I don't know Bertha. Ooh, got in trench. That's good to have. Might be a bit early for it, but I don't even have barricades yet. Uh, let me look at the map where I, I am. Um, yeah, I probably want to rest up because I kind of wanted to go like to this guy, probably there, there, hit the shop, rest up, and I could probably hit that elite. I already fought one elite. Yeah, I'm going to pass on the next fight. Yeah, I'll rest. Well, I'll smith. What, what can I smith? Oh, because I do like armaments. What does this do? That deals seven damage. That's kind of a nice upgrade. Um, I do like the armaments one, though. A little bit better. May not be, like, the most optimal upgrade, but it's one that I like the best because, I don't know. Because it upgrades everything in your hand. Like, that's kind of that's kind of dope. I'm just going to do that in Carnage. Takes him down to half health. It's a good start. Look at this. All armaments, everything's upgraded. That's pretty sweet. Pummel Strike and Cleave. Takes him down to 13 health. We take an eight, and it's not ideal. But whatever, we heal it back up. I got two blood potions, so sitting good there. Uh, which of these cards? So I have second wind, rage, and uppercut. I mean, second wind does give me, but second wind, I felt like I never used the the game I grabbed it. Uppercut's not bad. I don't like any of these cards. I'm skipping them. I don't care. I don't care if they're good or bad. I'm get a pair that raises my max HP, whatever. Does live stream count towards 4,000 hours? Watch time hours. Um, I believe so. Yeah, if you're talking about for like the YouTube creator thing, yeah. I think it does. On to the next fight. Oh gosh, I don't have any AOE, do I? I don't have Gremlin Horn. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> Make a block a little bit. It's nine block. I'm not going to be able to take anybody out. That can take out somebody. Who's doing most damage? Take them out. And that's all I can do. <laughs> yeah, I can still take a 10 damage. attack them i don't know maybe i should have defended i don't know what the better option there would have been but i guess i can sh do that defend whoa and then i strike them take no damage now so that's good and then i should be able to finish them no, not not gonna be able to finish them off but It'll be pretty close they're at least vulnerable so that i can Carnage them. I mean, it's a little overkill, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll go ahead and drink one of my health potions and then snag that other potion. Ooh, we got some power through. Okay, this deck's slowly coming together now. Um, definitely gonna hit up the shop because that's kind of the main reason I went down this path. Ooh, flame barrier. I mean, I really need barricades for this deck to really start singing, but um, I can't get any of the good relics. Flame Barrier is kind of fun, though, so I, I'll grab that, and then maybe I'll also remove a Strike? I don't even have Body Slam yet. If I had bo or Body Slam, then I could actually start doing some damage with my defense, but at the moment, I can't, so I think I'm just going to have to... I'll save the rest of my gold for another time. Um, now, do I rest again? I think I do. Do a little bit of upgrading. Now, what do I upgrade? That's a good question. Juggernaut seems good. And Trench would be good. Flame Barrier is fine. Um, you got to go to church. Take care. All right. Have, have, have a good time at church. Hopefully your wife and your son, you figured out that whole situation. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't be more help. I'm just playing Slay the Spire here.
Ähm Am yeah, I gonna upgrade the Juggernaut? Because I feel like it's gonna be pretty useful. Now the question is, do I have to fight another elite? It's already floor one. I'm already down to like half health. Let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, this guy. This guy's not too bad. Famous last words. But... Okay, I need to start. <laughs> Juggernaut's really going to help me out now. Um, 13 damage. Okay, wait. This is actually kind of bad, maybe. I'm going to duplicate potion carnage. I don't know if that's like the best move, but I'm kind of worried now. <laughs> kind of second guessing going into this boss fight. I mean, I think I win here, but no, I'm still short. Uh, not good. Oh, no, I'm fine. It was close. I got the nunchucks. Okay. And these are my options. Feel no pain. Interesting. When our card is exhausted, gain three block. How often are cards exhausted with my deck? Right now, I don't think I have anything that exhausts stuff, so... Uh, it's useless. Pretty much. I'll take seeing red, though. I mean, the extra energy could be kind of fun. I'm just gonna go for another normal combat encounter. Should be easy. I'm an armaments flame barrier. That's kind of fun. I forgot armaments targets everything now. I got my cool upgrade. Just hit all these fools right right where they hit me. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Almost strike this one. Seeing red to strike and defend. I should have done another strike. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I'll just cartage them this round. And they're done for. All right. My next options. Oh, uh, some pretty interesting ones. A heavy blade, not really care. I don't care about. Shockwave's kind of fun. Feed is a good one also, just for the ironclad in general. Uh, the a fatal it raises your HP by max by three that's kind of good so shockwave i mean that's some aoe weak and vulnerability which i don't have pretty much any in my deck the only vulnerability i apply is with bash um if i'm gonna be blocking that's actually uh, the feed is so fun i'm gonna take feed i don't care and i need to rest because i'm pretty well in health Maybe, I, I mean, I kind of forgot the boss is the slime boss. Maybe I should have gone with Shockwave considering that, but um, here we are, so can't go back now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just use feed because there's no way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to time it out perfectly. Okay, well, that's kind of a lot of damage. Just messed up. Oh, I forgot. Uh, that's not good. I kind of messed up. I forgot seeing red costed one energy, at least the version I have, the not upgraded version. Not good. I'm already down to 26 health. Okay, well, Flame Barrier plus Cleave, that's a pretty spicy combo. I don't dislike that, but... Okay, I can armaments, almost strike the back one, maybe. And seeing red to strike. Ah, I kind of messed that up. Strike the back one. There we go. Glad the guy interrupted or I was going to be in a not good position. They're multiplying. Okay, where's my other cleaves? There we go. So I can power through, cleave and strike. I should be able to take out some of them. One of them. No, none, none of them, apparently. That means I'm still taking 10 damage. But I'm pretty close. That's bad. This is quite a predicament I'm in. I'm barely staying alive here. <laughs> I'm going to have, like, two health, four health. Uh, it's a little risky. 
I don't, I don't love it. That was good RNG. Was quite, quite the fight there, slime boss. But uh, Ironclad wins again. So this is interesting. I already have Juggernaut. I kind of want Reaper. That this kind of seems like a fun one. I'm doing it. It's done. No thinking. Sozu, so I gain energy at the start of my turn. You can no longer obtain potions. That doesn't seem great. I kind of do like the Slaver's Collar. During boss and elite combats, you gain energy at the start of your turn. Because, like, that, those uh, those are the main ones I would want extra com uh, energy for. So, uh, like, those combats. So, we'll go with it. We'll take it. I'm going to take a gander at this map. Let me look at the, where the merchants are. Got one on the right, one on the left, one towards the bottom. Okay. Um, look at the rest site situation. So we got a couple up there. If I go for that shop, I'd miss that one. There's not a lot of rest. So what the heck? There's three total for the entire floor. Yikes. All right, I'm gonna go down this path and then hit all the exclamation point, not exclamation, question marks. And then I'll hit up, um, Figure out everything else along the way. All right, I can flame barrier, seeing red, strike and cleave. Maybe not the best. Oh, I also could have defended again. It wouldn't have mattered. But... Juggernaut, armaments. It's kind of a useless thing. I'm glad I have Pummel Strike that does gives me the card draw. It's one of the main reasons I grabbed it over one of the other cards I was looking at it. It's because I didn't have like any card draw. Alright, deal your nine damage to me. It's not that bad. They're dead. They're done for. Well, I guess not. But it doesn't matter. Now they're done for. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I take the gold. Um, ooh, Metallicize. That's a fun card. Also, it's upgraded. Power through, upgraded. Good. I already have a power through, though. Wild Strike, also pretty fun. Metallicize, I'll take. I can actually get that kind of work, and that could be fun. But I really need barricades, like, soon. I need to figure out how to get one and get it. Um, I guess I can Flame Barrier and Pummel Strike. This isn't... It's not gonna... They're gonna hurt me still a decent amount. Weave, strike, let's defend, pretty much all I could do. I mean, I could have used feed, but uh, maybe I should have, because they're about to try to get, get away, and th this guy's probably going to, because they're going to gain, like, at least 15 shields, so that's going to be like 30 health I have to do in one, one turn, which is kind of a lot, kind of a lot. So I think one of that guy is going to get away. I can't stop him. I can try to stop this other guy while I have a chance, but I mean, 24 damage in one turn. I think I can do that. Nope. Damn. They both got away. That sucks. Yeah, I'll still get the card, right? Okay. Which I don't really want any of those. Twin Strike, I'm good on. Heavy Blade, I'll pass on. Searing Blow. Too many upgrades. To make it, like, good. I forgot Carnage only affects one guy. Oh, I was thinking of um, Immolate that affects everybody. Remember, I'll just target the one in front, I guess. We'll go to the towel size. I can always use the extra block. Oh, Reaper, that could be fun. And heal me up for 12. I can do that to like block off all the other damage and then just start working away at 
guess I'll try to chip away at that guy. Still took like 10, but that's fine, because I just healed up like 12, so it's fine with me. Almost strike you and just double defend, I guess. Could flame barrier power through. That would block pretty much all of it. Not everything, but it blocked most of it. No, it would block. Well, yeah, everything but five, I guess. Why are they dealing so much damage? How do I... Can you all chill? This is kind of getting ridiculous. I'm gonna die. Like, I'm really close to dying. This isn't good. Yeah, this run's over, isn't it? I mean, I could try to heal up, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It will be enough, but... This isn't good. That was like an emergency potion. It's not a good time to use a potion. I can't block this damage. What can I do with this potion? Liquid memory? I goofed. I totally misplayed that. Dang. Well, I made it kind of far. But I guess not, uh, not that far. All right, well, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I don't want to end on a loss, but at the same time, um, keep the stream a little bit shorter. But I had a fun time playing some Slay the Spire. Um, yeah, like I said, I had no idea they had an app. And I think this makes for a great app that you can play on your phone or how I'm playing it now is on my iPad, which I really like, you know, bigger screen, but still pretty portable. Um, yeah, I've sunk the past couple weeks. I've sunk a lot of hours into this. So uh, I've been having a ton of fun, really enjoying actually trying to learn the game a bit more, learning the mechanics, learning the enemies, the acts, trying to be better about like general strategies and whatnot. I still have a ways to go, but you know what? I have at least I'm on Ascension 3 out of 20, so it's not too bad. Um, yeah, eventually I'll also start learning more of the other characters later, but I'm like, let me just get good the Ironclad and kind of figure out them and the game first, and then I'll kind of go to other characters, but um, yeah, I, I really enjoy Slay the Spire. I'm also really excited for the physical version that's coming out, I believe, next year is when I'm supposed to get it kickstarted. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited for that. So, until then, I guess I guess I have to keep playing the mobile version. So, let me quickly jump to my just chatting screen. There we go. Thank you for the stream. Thanks for hopping by and hanging out there, Mousery. Appreciate it. Maybe, you know, I'll have to do another playthrough in the future where I actually play through some of the uh, the other characters. But yeah, today was just an ironclad only type of day. But before I end the stream, like always, I will quickly tease out what's upcoming this cha on the channel this week. Um, so Tuesday, I will have another video of a card game that you can play with just a standard 52 deck of cards, which I've been really enjoying doing those videos. Uh, but the one coming out Tuesday is for this really interesting game called Seven Waters, A Duel of Pools. Um, and it's a card game that uses the drafting mechanic in Seven Wonders Duel. It uses a similar style of like drafting pyramid type thing. And it's made for two players, but then there is a really good solo mode for it. Um, the theme of it is like you're trying to build your own water park. So instead of in Seven Wonders, you have like the different wonders. In Seven Waters, you're trying to, you're building water slides, and there can only be seven water slides. So super interesting. I I think it's a really cool game. Uh, I'm excited to do a video over it. So that's what's coming Tuesday. On Thursday, I will have episode six of Let's Roll Up a Dungeon, where I will be using the 2D20 RPG system to roll up a dungeon. So 
Uh, the outline of that is still not done, so I don't have anything to tease out. But um, that's what's coming up on Thursday. It's Let's Roll Up a Dungeon, Episode 6. And then next Sunday will be an, uh, Soul Gaming Sunday RPG Edition, where I will be finally playing Forbidden Lands. This game has been on my list for a while. I've read through some of the PDF a while back, and I've read through it. At I, I, but it's just a game I've always been wanting to take, really sink into. I haven't got around to it. So this Sunday, that is my plan, is finally playing a bit of Forbidden Lands on the channel. So that's what's upcoming this week. Tuesday, 52 deck of card games called Seven Waters. Thursday will be Let's Roll Up a Dungeon with 2D6 Dungeon. And the next Sunday, week from now, will be so, uh, the Soul Gaming Sunday RPG Edition. With Forbidden Lands. That's all I got. Appreciate everybody coming by the stream, hanging out, slaying the spire. You know, it's good times to be had. We got some good wins in. I'm on Ascension 3 now, slowly moving up in the world. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about playing a spooky game for Halloween, but um, I don't know. I play, I've played a bunch of spooky games in the past, Arkham Horror and some other stuff. So there's like some spooky RPGs maybe I could have played, but I was like, you know what? I'll just play Slay the Spire. You know, it's fine. It doesn't have to be spooky related and I can do my whole Halloween get up. So. All right. This is Dale Gribble signing off. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, like would always be appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you. Have a good week, everybody. Go, go slay some spires, you know. <laughs>